Hello guys, this is Sobhner Patel again from YouTube channel Electrical One. Before more, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and those who are subscriber, please don't forget to press bell icon. You can get latest video update. So this is my fourth video on my channel. We have already seen about timer and counter operation or just simple program over home run. Okay. So now we are doing in this video. Now we are doing <coughs> the memory. We are or we will see about the latching. Oh, sorry. memory concept okay so for that we need a one truth table okay so till this window i have read to okay so this is our truth table so just for that we are taking as example television and its remote so when television and remote both are its normal stage so that's why here is 0 0 okay but when we will push the button from remote so the television of remote sorry television of receiver of television that will receive the input from remote that's why both are one okay because we are giving input but this is push button on remote so we have to remove or we have to release so that's why it is zero but television will stay on okay but when we will again of the button or when we will push the button on remote so re receiver of television that will receive the input from remote but it will stay still on or it will stay on still when we will release the push button from remote okay same push button okay that's why both tv television will off okay so this is our truth table so just watch how we can satisfy it okay so here we are doing looping okay so we can take a loop so in this our output row when we will get a one so start a loop from that one and stop up to zero okay so here look we did a loop and start the addressing or memory from there okay like m0 m1 m2 up to m3 whatever it will okay also start programming from that input or start from one because we are giving loop like okay so start from there so here here is one so for one use you know remember this for one use you know or for zero use nc okay so here this is or one so that's why take you know okay take you know give address to you know zero point zero zero point zero zero okay so here is our you know sorry take a memory for memory take address 10.00 okay i already given a address input and output addressing of omron okay so here we are going to use push button here we use a push button that's why we need to do latching okay so take address output address or just whatever our memory take a you know of that okay 10.00 okay i already told about in my third video about latching okay so this is our latching okay when we will push the button that will become nc and output will on but this is push button we have to release that push button so when we will push button release the push button that will remain on because we are doing latching because when this will on that you know will become nc and output remain on it's like a dual okay so into table our second input is zero that's why we need to take nc give same address 0.0 because we have to on directly first to last also take you know of that output or that memory okay always give same address 10.00 okay
take second memory m1 for that 10 0 point 1 okay 10 0 point 1 okay i would like to give name to them details edit m1 okay edit right click edit details edit m0 okay so here also we took a push button that's why we need to take latching okay take a latching take a same output address 0 1 okay So like that we have to take up to M3 because our looping is from M0 to M3 okay M0 from M0 to M3 same like now third third here is 0 sorry here is 1 that's why we took a you know okay take a output of you know and m2 latching same as in our third branch here is 0 that's why we took a nc output you know m3 here is our last branch so in latching we will not we have to, there is no need to take latching okay because our is last branch okay so our uh, loop is from m0 that's why we took a m0 here here is 1 that's why you know okay and up to m3 means took m3 here is 0 that's why we took a nc switch okay and this is our last output so when we will give input so that will directly on this is internal process of our television or its remote whatever it is okay so just we will going to run the program simulation work on simulator So this is downloading our program so this is our online screen so when we will give input so miss give one to push button okay set so when we will give output will on look okay but when we will remove that push button or release push button So our output will still on or it will remain because we are we did latching okay so just when we will give again input so it will still on okay it will still on but at last when we will give or when we will release so it will now off because that em3 is on now and it's became a you know nc2 you know and that's why this is off now okay so you know this was our memory concept so just add. but when we will took uh, take a uh, two output so how we can do okay so this is the two table of that so this is our both our output so here is here is one i already told about that how to take loop from start from 1 up to 0 okay so in this column here is we got a 1 to 0 that's why we did a loop like okay so again here is 1 up to 0 same like here output second looping do like okay and i already told about how start from where from where we start looping okay so from here we are start looping so that why take address like memory address or take or take a memory from like okay like m0 m1 m2 up to m5 okay so this is our second example okay so this is our second example we did the same like that just if it took a two output so we need not take to need not take to here okay same that first example we can take okay but just we need to take at here 
okay this is our first output and this is our second output when we will see our truth table so here is in first output there is m0 up to m2 okay m0 to m2 okay so that's why we took a m0 to m2 and here is m0 was our 1 and this was 0 that's why we took you know and nc sorry this is you know and nc okay and our second loop from 1 to 0 means m3 to up to m5 okay that's why we took like m3 up to m5 you know nc means 1 0 respectively okay so this is our second output so for take our second output is from loop like m0 to m1 this is our first one and this is zero so take you know nc you know nc you know nc means m0 one to one m2 to m3 and m4 to m5 okay like that m0 to m1 m2 to m3 m4 to m5 like that this is our first second output okay so just we will run the program work on simulator okay so this is downloading the program so when we will give input to push button <coughs> so our both output will on when we will give input our both first input will on but when we will release the push button means when we will release the push button our only one output one will on output two will off okay look okay so when we will again give input so first output will off and second will on okay so just when we will when we will give again input so when we will give input again so now m2 will on m1 sorry uh, this is output 2 will on m output 1 will off okay look this will off and this will on again when we will give when, or when we will release that push button okay so when we will release that push button so output 1 will on and output 2 will off okay output 1 will on and output 2 will off okay so same like up to last we can do so this is this was our memory concept so for memory address this i am going to give okay so this is our memory addressing start from 0, 0.0 sorry 10.00 10.01 10.02 up to 10.11 and after 11.00 up to 99.11 okay so you know this was our memory concept so hope you guys you understand that and also thanks for watching okay